Good afternoon. Joe Hall with the latest on the bushfire crisis from Nine News. At least 36 people are now reported to have been killed, but that number is set to double. Premier John Rumby is at his Treasury Place office, and we join him now live as he's about to make this special address to the state. It is unquestionably one of the most tragic events in our state's history. I'm personally devastated by the suffering of so many. For so many of us, the scale of this tragedy defies comprehension. My heart, and I know the hearts of all Victorians, go out to the families and communities who have suffered. OK. Now, um, you want to go back to start? <coughs> well, do you want that was John Brumby at Treasury Place. We'll take you back to the cricket now. Two for 187 at the Sydney Cricket Ground. New Zealand won the toss. They gave away the opportunity to bat first because they were leading five. Good afternoon, Joe Hall again. We'll now return to John Brumby at Treasury Place. Nine people have perished and we have grave concerns for many more. We know that hundreds of Victorians have lost their homes and businesses and whole communities have been virtually destroyed. At least 26 fires are still burning and 12 of them are still not contained. It is unquestionably one of the most tragic events in Victoria's history. I am, of course, personally devastated by the suffering of so many people. For so many of us, the scale of this tragedy defies comprehension. My heart, and I know the hearts of all Victorians, go out to the families and the communities who have suffered so much. For those Victorians who, lost, who have lost so much, we all grieve with you. So many families, uh, families just like yours and mine, now face the task of having to rebuild their lives. To the community suffering at the hand of these fires, the thoughts and the prayers of our state are with you all. I can promise that we will not stop until you are safe and your lives and communities are fully rebuilt. The Victorian and Commonwealth governments will provide every possible assistance. We have immediately triggered $1,000 cash grants and medium-term grants of up to $22,000 to relieve hardship for people affected by the fires. These grants can be accessed by contacting the Victorian Bushfire Information Line on 1800 240 667. In addition, the Prime Minister and I today agreed to establish a $10 million community rebuilding fund to assist with the rebuilding of community facilities. This is above and beyond the normal recovery effort and existing government programs. We've also established a bushfire appeal fund with an immediate state government contribution of $2 million. I urge Victorians to give generously. Donations can be made right now by calling the Red Cross on 1800 811 700. As events unfold over the coming days, we will focus on the best and the most practical ways of helping those affected by this disaster. But the effort that I want to highlight today is the incredible community response that we are seeing right across the state. Firefighters and emergency workers have been on the ground all weekend. They've been battling to hold back fire fronts across significant parts of the state. Out there, it's been hell on earth. The Australian Defence Forces have also been deployed, providing fuel, equipment, resources and personnel. In addition to the emergency services, there are also tens of thousands of volunteers whose work has been absolutely crucial to the firefighting effort. These people are working in unbelievably difficult, stressful, physical and emotional conditions. They have often risked their own lives to protect others. And on behalf of all Victorians, I want to thank them and thank them from the bottom of my heart. We are grateful for your selflessness, your courage and for your bravery. We've also seen thousands of people ready to help providing 
emergency accommodation, handing out blankets, making sandwiches and drinks, and in many cases just helping their neighbours out in whatever way they can. Again, I want to thank you all for that. It is your generosity and selflessness that will see Victoria through this extraordinarily dark hour. Stories will emerge throughout the coming days of uh, miraculous survivals and sadly, of course, tragic losses. Weaved throughout this will be reports of the inspiring kindness and the genuine humanity that Victorians have shown to each other. I've seen much of that on display in the last two days. These fires, though, are not finished. We have strong winds across the state and the fires will continue to burn for days and communities will continue to be threatened. I ask all Victorians who are living in threatened areas to please follow the advice of the fire authorities, to stay alert to the latest advice possible through the media and to enact their fire plans. And please, of course, remember, decide to leave early or to stay and defend your home. The road is too dangerous to risk once the fire approaches. I know that there are many people concerned about friends and relatives. I urge you to call the Bushfire Information Line on 1800 240 667, uh, listen to ABC local radio or contact the Red Cross. I sincerely hope that you make contact with your loved ones and that they are safe. Finally, I ask the Victorian community to dig uh, deep and help. Check on your neighbours and friends. Check on the elderly to ensure their safety. Donate blood to assist people who have suffered terrible burns. And of course, donate to the Victorian Bushfire Fund. Our resolve is clearly being tested, but we uh, will get on top with these fires. And together, we will rebuild the property and the possessions that have been lost. We will put communities back together and Victoria will recover. Thank you. That was Premier John Brumby at Treasury Place. More on the bushfire crisis shortly.